I'm Ivan Zoot and welcome into another video here at Jatai Academy. You've come to rely on Jatai Academy for up-to-date information and helpful tips and tricks and things to help you build and grow your business and let's continue that. It is December, we're at the height of the holiday season and we're working harder than we ever do in a barbershop or hair salon environment. So the question is, Ivan, have you got any tips for staying healthy behind the chair? You know, I've been cutting hair for over 30 years and I've cut in high volume shops for a large number of those years. The fact that I can still cut hair, the fact that my arm hasn't fallen off, probably indicates that I've had some success with staying physically healthy behind the chair. And a couple of years ago, recognizing that health and wellness behind the chair really is a challenge for many beauty and barber professionals, I sought out some additional education and I became certified as a personal trainer. I also received a specialty certification in senior fitness because, well, I'm going to be a senior pretty soon, but more than that was the issue that many of the challenges that affect hair cutters behind the chair Issues of health, wellness, and durability very closely mimic a lot of the same challenges we see in older populations. We have beauty and barber professionals who've been in the business not terribly long, who might be 30 years old with a shoulder behaving like they're 60 years old. So the mimicking of age-related wear and tear is a very common issue in our business. So let's look at a few of my top tips for staying healthy behind the chair. Number one, get enough sleep. It's easy to say, it may not be as easy to do, and enough is different for everyone. Some of us can operate on a little less, others of us will feel better when they get just a little more, but make sure, you know, early to bed, early to rise, early to bed, late to rise, isn't even a bad idea sometimes, but sufficient rest, you know the expression, you can't take care of them if you don't take care of you. So number one, start out with good sleep. Number two, nutrition, food, lunch, bag of lunch. There's so many good reasons why haircutting professionals should bring a lunch with them to bag a lunch to work. You know, you don't always have great lunch purchase options in the vicinity of your place of employment. And by bagging a lunch, you can plan ahead and make better healthy choices. In addition to bagging the lunch, I like to say block your lunch, B and B bag it and block it. Block your lunch out in your calendar for the day, because if you don't block it, you might not take it. And that rest, that recuperation, that relaxation, and that nutrition is going to be vital to get you through long days in the shop all year long and long days in the shop during a busy holiday season. Next on the list is mix it up. You know, our industry is riddled with challenges related to repetitive motion, scissor action, round brush twisting, things like that. I like to say mix it up. If you scissor cut a lot, introduce a clipper. If you clipper cut a lot, perhaps it's time for some razor work. But by mixing up the activities you engage in, by avoiding the heavy repetition of the same type of thing over and over and over again, you can be kind to your parts, to your ligaments, tendons, muscles, and joints, which can add years to a healthy career. Next on the list is use your chair. From my efficiency tips from the world records, I always like to say, put the miles on the client, not the miles on the hair cutter. If you stand in one place and reorient the client to your cutting position, I love that sentence, reorient the client to your cutting position. In simple English, turn the chair. The chair turns for a reason. And one of the most important elements of using our chair properly, protect your back, pump up the chair. Find an ideal working height for the type of work that you're doing. If you're round brushing and blow drying, lower the chair so your arms can be held lower down. If you're top cutting on the top of a client's head, lower the chair so you can keep your hands here as opposed to trying to cut here. If you're tapering nape lines, neck lines, edges, and perimeters, pump up the chair. Get that work up so you're not hunching down. Spin the chair, raise and lower the chair, let the chair do the hard work that you shouldn't be doing. Next on my list, and it's hard to pinpoint what this really means when I say it, but make better shoe choices. Make good shoe choices for being on your feet every day. Now, it's kind of funny because online, on Facebook, in a lot of the 
hair chat groups. There's one in particular in which questions about footwear have been officially banned or prohibited. If you post on their chat group about shoe choices, they just delete your post because those things run so long and so heated. And the truth of the matter is everybody has two feet and everybody's feet are different. I tend to wear gym shoes, athletic shoes, cross trainer type athletic shoes. There are other people that cut hair in more of a ballet flat. Some people prefer a low heel. Other prefer like a boot. I don't wear a boot because the weight of a boot drags on my knee and that's personal and specific to me. I also work in an environment in which gym shoes, a little more of a casual look, are not something that creates an issue or a challenge with our dress code. So again, the choices can be personal for a number of reasons, but at the end of the day, make better shoe choices. And I'll just throw out there that for anyone, for everyone, a better shoe choice is probably not a really big spiky heel. Lastly on the list, a pet peeve of many folks I know, treat your work like a workout, hydration, water, Water is better than soda. Soda is probably better than, diet soda is probably better than sugared soda. Sugared soda is probably a bad choice. Coffee, don't even go there. If you're gonna be in my face and cutting my hair, I don't wanna smell your Starbucks from earlier this morning. Coffee breath is just nasty. But hydration is fundamental to being able to keep all the parts moving, to keep you on your feet, to keep your head clear, to keep your mind active, and to keep you successful behind the chair. So those are my big tips for healthy haircutting for the holiday season for 2019 from me and our friends here at Jatai Academy. J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. Make sure to sign up, don't ever miss a video, and find me for more online at clipperguy.com. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.